Best Practices for Use of Dermatherapy Bedding and Apparel in the Patient Room. The dermatherapy system consists of the fitted sheet, flat sheet, pillowcase, underpad, and patient gowns. Fitted sheet. The reinforced elastic and the extra deep pockets of the dermatherapy fitted sheet were created to ensure a proper fit for mattresses of all sizes. Place the sheet on the bed so the stripes are horizontal with the end of the mattress. Tuck both ends at the head of the bed, then both ends at the foot of the bed. Be sure to tuck the elastic all the way underneath the mattress all the way around. Whether the bed is in a flat position or the head of the bed is elevated, the Dermatherapy Fitted Sheet stays securely on the mattress. Flat Sheet and Bedspread When making the bed, place the underpad, blanket, or a pillow on top of the flat sheet towards the head of the bed. This will act as a weight while tucking in the sheet and will keep the sheet from sliding. Your facility will continue to use the traditional cotton bedspread. However, the weight of the bedspread may sometimes pull the lighter weight flat sheet off the bed and possibly onto the floor. To reduce that possibility, tuck the bedspread under the mattress further towards the head of the bed, particularly the side that is not being used for entering or exiting the bed. As you are making your hourly rounds, check the surroundings in the patient's room to secure, rearrange, or replace the linen. Pillowcase. The pillowcase has a unique flap at the open end. It was created to prevent the smooth vinyl pillow from sliding out of the case. Once the pillow is in the case, fold the flap over to seal the pillow inside. The pillowcase can also be used to make a wedge for your patient. Double the pillow in half and tuck one end into the flap. This wedge can be used for positioning behind the back, sacrum, buttocks when turning from side to side, floating the heels, behind the head, under the patient's arms, or to help keep the patient properly positioned. If you use wedges for positioning, place the foam wedge or rolled bath blanket inside the dermatherapy pillowcase. The goal is to keep the therapeutic dermatherapy touching the patient's skin as much as possible. Underpad. The underpad is multifunctional. In addition to providing to be effective in handling incontinence, it also allows for easier movement for the patient and the staff's ability to move them. The underpad is designed for incontinence. It is absorbent and the white quilted fabric is on top and ensures that dermatherapy stays closest to the patient's skin. If the patient experiences large volumes of incontinent diarrhea, urine, and or weeping edema, using a disposable pad in conjunction with the dermatherapy underpad is at the nurse's discretion and is proven to be an effective combination for those particular cases. The primary objective is to keep the dermatherapy product in contact with the skin as much as possible while keeping the layers underneath the patient to a minimum. Patient gowns. There are two standard sizes of dermatherapy gowns. The navy blue is the standard size. A 10 extra large size will also be provided. The IV gown has snaps that extend the length of the sleeve. Soiled linen handling. The linen is designed with a soil release finish to prevent permanent staining. The linen will get soiled, however virtually all types of stains can be removed, even those like silver nitrate. It is important to remember that this is therapeutic linen. Please do not throw it away. Send all linen back to the laundry, even if it is heavily soiled. Your laundry provider will be able to wash the heavily soiled products and return them to service without stains in most cases. Ease of patient movement and positioning. Sliding is good for the skin. With dermatherapy, the skin slides across the surface of the fabric, minimizing damage within the layers of the skin. The perception is that patients move in bed more and they won't stay in place. However, sticking in one place creates friction and the shear for the patient's skin and soft tissue. Less friction with the skin will decrease the friction and shear injuries that may occur when patients are repeatedly repositioned in bed. Friction and shear injuries have been proven to accelerate the development of skin damage in many cases. 
when moving the patient up in bed. It is important to remember to catch knees on the bed before raising head of bed if appropriate. Dermatherapy in use with vinyl chairs or recliners. Before placing the patient in a recliner, drape a bath blanket, bedspread, or other traditional linen item on the chair. Then cover that with a dermatherapy flat sheet and or under pad. Remember to keep the dermatherapy in contact with the skin as much as possible. Patients with temperature fluctuations. Our patients are already sick when they're hospitalized and they're exposed to all types of temperature fluctuations, whether from their illness or their location. Treat your patient as you normally would in the effort to keep them comfortable. If the patient is cold, add another blanket from warmth. And for those who indicate they are too warm, remove excess bedding. Handling reminders. Because dermatherapy is smoother than traditional cotton incumbent products, there are some tips staff will need to keep in mind as they become accustomed to using and handling the products. Remember to place the linen on the smooth mattress with care. Also, hold the linen close to your body or with both hands when transporting it from the linen carts to the patient rooms. Standard Textile, we've set the bar for the industry.